So Gabriel Jesus is off to Arsenal. This is a disaster. Chelsea need to hijack this deal. Chelsea have everything that Arsenal can offer and more. Chelsea can offer Jesus the opportunity to play in the European Cup. Chelsea can offer Jesus more money. Chelsea can offer Jesus London in the way that Arsenal can. I don't see what Arsenal can offer Gabriel Jesus that Arsenal can better. Yes, there is a relationship with Arteta, but surely Gabriel Jesus wants to play in the Champions League. Surely that is enough to win this fight for Chelsea if Chelsea decide to enter the fight. But frustratingly, we don't seem to be interested. I cannot, I cannot understand why Chelsea aren't going hell for leather to sign Gabriel Jesus. He is a proven, brilliant centre forward and Chelsea are in dire need of him. He is a fantastic player. There seems to be this weird misnomer that he isn't particularly good. People say, well, he doesn't get in the City team, so why on earth does Chelsea want to sign him? I believe this position to be incredibly foolish. Man City is so much better than Chelsea. Man City finished 20 points above Chelsea. Manchester City won the league. Manchester City have one of the best squads ever assembled. What Pep Guardiola has built at Man City is arguably the best football team that has ever existed. So not getting in that team is hardly embarrassing. It's hardly anything to be ashamed by. Not getting in the Man City team, you can still be a world-class player and not get in that team. There are probably four football teams in the entire world at any level that Gabriel Jesus doesn't walk into. Four football teams. Doesn't get in the City team. Probably doesn't get in the Liverpool team. Doesn't get in the Real Madrid team. And despite being good enough, in my opinion, doesn't get in the PSG team for various reasons. Four clubs. Every other club he starts for. Every other club he is a gift to. We need Gabriel Jesus. We need a player of his quality. Can you think quite how significant the levelling up is from what we currently have Scoring goals for Chelsea, whether it's Kai Havertz as a false nine, whether it's Timo Werner through the middle, whoever it may be, to Gabriel Jesus. He's also someone who tries incredibly hard. He works so hard. He relentlessly presses from the front. He can do a job in a number of positions. He would be a gift to Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel would clearly love to have him. And I just find it unfathomable why Chelsea aren't trying to hijack this deal? It's a bargain. Arsenal are really confident that they are going to sign this player. The next seven to ten days, they think Gabriel Jesus will be an Arsenal player. For approximately 50 million quid, which by today's standard, is a bargain. Jesus has one year left on his contract. The summer of 2023, his contract is up, which means he could leave on a free next year. City have started to take their finances very seriously and they cannot allow this to happen. They're actually borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. They're actually doing it the old fashioned way. They're going to sell Jesus and use the money to buy Phillips. So they are desperate for Jesus not to leave on a free. So they need to get this deal done. That plays into Chelsea's hands. It means it's a buyer's market. Chelsea could offer 45 million quid and Jesus, I believe, would want to sign for Chelsea, wouldn't he? Look, I don't want this to be seen as me not understanding the presence and the institution that is Arsenal Football Club. When I say that Chelsea have everything that Arsenal can offer and more, I effectively mean silverware and Champions League football. Over recent years, Chelsea have proven to win silverware. And over recent years, Arsenal have won the odd FA Cup, but generally haven't. Chelsea's acquisition of silverware is incomparable to Arsenal's. So silverware as a motivation, the European Cup as a motivation. I'm fully aware that Arsenal are an institution. I'm fully aware that Arsenal are a magnificent football club and the history of the club will resonate with anyone. The marble halls, the traditions that go back to Charlie George right the way through to Terry Omri, I get it. This isn't that video, okay? But today, Chelsea offer more than Arsenal. And if Chelsea go for it, I cannot understand why Chelsea cannot make this signing happen. I really do not understand it. Surely, surely we can make this happen. And like I was saying, he is such an improvement to this Chelsea team. City finished 20 points above us. So virtually, virtually every player in their squad gets in our starting eleven. In the same way that Chelsea finished in the league table, he was mid-table last year. Leicester, Chelsea finished 
we'll call it 20 points, right? City to Chelsea, we'll call it 20 points. Chelsea to Leicester, we'll call it 20 points. Obviously, everyone at Chelsea is pretty much going to get in the Leicester team. Obviously, our defenders are better than Vestergaard. You know, obviously, we have more attacking talent than Harvey Barnes. Obviously, Kai Havertz is a better player than Harvey Barnes, and Kai Havertz gets in their team. And it's the same story about City. So, Gabriel Jesus would definitely, definitely improve Chelsea. We can get him, we need him, and there's a double-edged sword. It would do Arsenal a mischief. Arsenal are a huge rival who are persevering with this Arteta rebuild. And Gabriel Jesus could be a key component in that rebuild. So not only would we sign a player that would improve us drastically, what's the levelling up of Gabriel Jesus to Timo Werner, genuinely? The distance between Gabriel Jesus and Timo Werner is the same again between Timo Werner and Charlie Austin. That's how much better. That's how much better Chelsea would become. And not only would we become so much better, but it would deal a massive blow to Arsenal, who could be a major rival for Chelsea last year. You know, Arsenal were pushing Chelsea all the way for that European spot by the end of the season. They made a pig's ear of it by the end. But if the season had been slightly differently, if Chelsea hadn't had the start that we'd had, it could have been slightly different. So when you have a rival like Arsenal who are on a rebuild, when they're on the way up, what you do is you do everything to keep them down. You don't encourage their rebuild. Of course you don't. You know, it drove me mad. I thought a few years ago, I, th I perhaps was wrong, but I thought that Arsenal were basically a really good centre-forward and a really good goalkeeper away from winning the league. We then sold them Petr Cech. That isn't how you succeed. That isn't how you progress. You progress by being ruthless and signing players that your rivals want to sign because it scuppers them. Do you remember when Michael Essien looked destined for Manchester United and Chelsea went and got him? Bang. We won the league. That, fine, that summer between retaining the league, bang, Michael Essien. Puts everyone else at arm's length. Chelsea can do this, but we're not. We're not going for it. And it's really frustrating. I'm currently away. I'm playing poker, thanks to Poker Stars. I'm staying in a beautiful hotel, by the way. Poker Stars have been incredibly kind. They've put me in this beautiful hotel in Malta. It's called the Intercontinental. You have to come here. It's so good. And I have made day two. So I've been a little bit away from the action. I thought I'll see what's going on, you know, log in, find out what's happening. Arsenal are basically going to sign a player that I believe to be just sub of world class. Surely, surely Chelsea are after a player like this. We cannot allow Arsenal to rebuild. We can sign a player for 50 million quid. It's a bargain who will improve us drastically. Come on, Bowley. Mr. Finkelstein, wake up. We need to at least go for it. This would be huge for us. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for all watching this video. Do you agree? If you do, will you give this video a like? I want to monitor it. Do you think Chelsea should hijack this deal? Click subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. See you in a bit.